When Lucasfilm first announced the High Republic initiative, one of the temples was that this operation was for everyone. No matter your reading level, or your age, your preference of what media you like to consume, there was going to be something in the High Republic for you. So there's an adult novel, there's a young adult novel, there's a Marvel comic, there's an IDW comic, and there's a middle grade novel called A Test of Courage by Justina Ireland. Now, Test of Courage features the only Jedi Knight to ever pass her Jedi trials at 15. It's a wonderful little story that features lessons like loss, balance, friendship, and avoiding the pull of the dark side. So the novel starts with a motley crew making its way out to the newly finished Starlight Beacon. This group includes Vernestra Rowe, the aforementioned Jedi Knight, Avon Staros, a technical prodigy who takes pride in reprogramming her droid, Imri Kentaros, a startlingly empathetic Jedi Padawan under the tutelage of the great Master Douglas, and Honesty Weth, a Downland ambassador's son eager to find his own way in the universe. So early on in Island's tale, our heroes are the victim of sabotage courtesy of the evil Nile who we met in Light of the Jedi by Charles Sewell, which we actually do recommend reading that book before this one if you haven't read it yet. So with almost all of that they own being taken away from them in a mere matter of minutes, this group is left stranded on a distant moon trying to figure out how to move forward. And it's that struggle on the distant moon that Ireland uses to teach the lessons from A Test of Courage. Again, given that this novel is kind of geared toward middle readers, Ireland really takes the time to craft some of those lessons of humanity and of friendship that might benefit those younger readers. Chief among those is the ability to move forward even with grief. Without spoiling too much, every character loses something major in the inciting incident of this book, and much of the rest of the book is each of those characters learning to cope with that loss. Vernestra maintains her composure as a leader no matter the hardships her group is facing. Imri's struggle kind of moves dangerously toward anger as he deals with this loss, as his overly empathetic side kind of gives him a unique susceptibility to the power of the dark side. And younger readers of Star Wars novels likely have experienced some form of loss in their lives or will, and so seeing loss in the Star Wars novel is a fantastic way to learn how to process grief and to live through it. After all, if even Jedi can lose themselves in the face of a really bad day, why should you blame yourself if you do? So aside from the life lessons taught in A Test of Courage, Ireland just crafts a really fun Star Wars story. So Ireland is no stranger to Star Wars lore and to edge of your seat action, and that helps her create a really enjoyable Star Wars novel for readers of all ages. We've got unique wildlife and fauna on a brand new planet, we've got Force users interacting with the Force differently, and the recanonization of the Force Whip. So her ability to combine these kind of life lessons for the younger readers while also creating a tale that's full of great Star Wars is one of the reasons Justina Island has become a staple of the Star Wars publishing universe. And all of that is why Justina Island was lauded as one of the choices for the High Republic. And so what's the first step an architect takes when they're constructing a new building? It's the foundation. That's what Ireland does here. She lays the foundation. Not only the foundation for younger reader novels in this new era, but also the foundation of these new characters and for what young Jedi do when their masters aren't present. They're strong, they're wise, they may falter, but no matter what, they always rise to the occasion eventually. These are the heroes the High Republic mentioned, and they're the heroes we need now more than ever. Grief is a natural part of the human existence, but through books like this, we can learn how to cope with that, how to move forward even in the face of sadness. In the face of loss, the truest test is the courage to take the next step forward. And if you need a helping hand along the way, there's always gonna be a Jedi, a tinkerer, or a wayward son right next to us to help us along the way. The test of courage is never undertaken alone because after all, we are all the Republic. And so if this review has piqued your interest in a test of courage, or if you haven't picked up Light of the Jedi by Charles Sewell yet and are looking to dive into the High Republic, stick around for this. So this video is brought to you by Audible. And Audible is giving you one free Star Wars audiobook with no strings attached. That's right, all you have to do is sign up using Eugenie's link and you'll get a free credit to use on whichever Star Wars audiobook you like. All you have to do is head on over to utini.com slash audible or the link in the description and sign up to get your free Star Wars audiobook. It's the perfect chance to jump into the higher public. 
And if you're looking for more friends in your life who are as passionate about Star Wars books as you are, be sure to check out our vibrant and positive Discord community over at utini.com slash Discord. There we discuss all the newest releases as well as so much other fun stuff related to the Star Wars universe. And as always, we are all the Republic.